So these arrived, and these are the Racer Star Air B motors. And if we just take a look at this, you can see it's a massive stator and a massive size. So these are the Air B, and the size of them is 2514. And we've got a KV of 1498. So this is a huge motor. And if we compare it to a 2207.5, in this case the RC in power, you'll see how big it is. It's massive. And these motors are designed for the big stuff. In this case, more than likely 8 inch upwards. And I'm going to test mine on an 8 inch quad. But I'm guessing these would probably be better on something even bigger. Possibly 9 inch, 10 inch, something like that. And if you look at them, while on face value they look like they're just sort of this titanium colour with a black bell. There are these flashes of red on the spokes of the bell. And it's a really pretty thing. And the whole thing feels really, really good quality. Not like the the Racer Star motors of old and of course these ones have been designed by T Motor as you can see here so if we take this guy apart let's have a little look what we've got inside the first thing you'll see is we've got an M2 set screw and this is kind of one of these deep set ones so it does come out relatively easily You'll see we've got this little spacer, which is countersunk, very similar to the one that was on the 3B motors that I reviewed not too long ago. So if we take this guy apart, see if we can get it off, let's find a bolt to put in it. As I have no fingernails. There we go. So you can see it's a very neatly wound thing. Look at the size of it. The amount of copper in there is um, is huge, and it comes with this massive stretch of wire and again if we look at the other side you can see we've got big chunky magnets and a hollow shaft and this is one of the racer star motors of old the BR2205 and this one's never been used and this is where we talk about quality. So this one is covered in blue balancing gunk. And this one has the slightest dabs of it around the bell here. So this is not the Racer Star Malta that a lot of us first started with that threw out as much power as a starving kitten but got us in the air and I don't know about anybody else but I had a lot of fun with these and they used to be about seven quid a pop nowadays you can get so much more money this guy just reeks of quality so you can tell we've got this lovely thick bell we've got a titanium hollow shaft we've got a seven, 7075 aluminium bell with this lovely design on it so if i just put this guy back together again can't tell whether it's single strand or multi-strand i think it's multi-strand and it's certainly packed in there
the laminations look like 0.15 so the idea of this motor is clearly for the big stuff and more than likely that will fall into the long range class so the guy who's going to be running this on a 7, 8, 9 inch quad possibly using 4S or 5S and because it's such a big motor it will have loads of low end torque and in this case because we've got a very tall stator as well it will also have a lot of top end so this is for the really sort of powerful stuff in terms of batteries my plan originally was to run this on 6S but I suspect that's going to be 4 to much power although I'm going to give it a try and because this is rated up to 8S you could have a lot of fun with this I mean you could make it an immensely fast quad spinning 7, 8, 9 inch props on you know 6S, 7S It'd be interesting to see what happens. Um, if we see how much it weighs, it's going to weigh a ton because it certainly feels like that in my hand. We've got 250 mil of wire, which is obviously a ton, and it's 18 gauge wire. So if I just set this on my scales, if I can. So we've got a weight of 78.89, so basically 79 grams. So essentially twice the weight that you would usually carry on, you know, a 2207 or 2208 motor. So yeah, just a quick overview of it really. It, it really does feel quality. Um, it feels really smooth. It's got that sort of permanent sandpaper feel to it as you spin it round. We've got nice tight air gaps and the whole thing just feels really solid. So as always what I'll do is try and get this guy in the air. I've got a 100 amp up to 8S ESC when it arrives. And I also have an iFlight 8 inch frame. And this sort of size isn't really my bag to be honest with you. Although I was having a lot of fun at the weekend flying the uh, Gap RC 7 inch. But I kind of figured I'd do this as a bit of an experiment really. Uh, my first 8 inch quad, massive motors. Let's try it on 4S and 6S and see how we get on um, I mean I've got some of these guys which are 6S 2200 more I'm guessing they're going to be too small but as always we shall make do so yeah that's just it quick overview of the Racer Star Air B motor really good, look, good looking motor in the flesh feels really good quality and isn't the sort of toy crappy motor that we used to from Racer Star. So clearly the T-Motor stuff is paying off. Cheers guys. Thank you. Bye bye.